What's up guys, Chef Rhino here. Today I'm going to show you how to make some blue cheese dressing. Stay tuned. Okay, so what you're going to need is some mayonnaise, some sour cream, and some parsley. You're going to mix all that up in a bowl. So blue cheese is one of my favorite dressings, especially for wings. Now it may not be my favorite dressing for salads, that honor goes to ranch, which I have a recipe for as well, so keep an eye out for that video. But as far as wings go, blue cheese dominates it, unless it's from Wingstop. Their ranch is just far superior than any other ranch I've ever had, even my own. Now my dad isn't the biggest fan of blue cheese. But he really enjoys this one. I've made some wings in the past with this recipe and he just ate it up. So I'm going to speed things up for a second while I finish mixing this together. Once you get the mayo and sour cream all mixed together, you're going to add the parsley. Now in here I also add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice and make sure you mix it all together. Get all the parsley mixed in there so there's no little clumps on the side. Going to fast forward real quick again while I mix all this together. Okay, so once you get all mixed together, you're going to add your blue cheese. Now we're not going to whisk it again because we'll just smush the blue cheese and we won't make it as chunky. Me personally, I like a chunky blue cheese. If you like more of a thinner blue cheese, then by all means, go ahead and whisk it in. But I'm just going to try to fold it the best I can and keep the blue cheese crumbles whole. So keep on folding it all together and you're probably going to notice that it's a little thick. It's a very thick dressing. If you do want it thinner, add a little bit of buttermilk to it. I'm adding two tablespoons right now. Now once you put it in there, go ahead and fold it around a little bit more. I'm probably going to keep it at this consistency. I do like it a little thick, more of a dip than a dressing. But if you need to add more buttermilk, go ahead and add a tablespoon at a time and fold it again. Keep on folding, keep on adding more until you get it to the consistency that you like. So I'm going to go ahead and break up the crumb with a little bit just to make the dressing a little bit thinner. To do that, you just smash the sides, smash them up a little bit, and then just give it a little taste. That tastes amazing. Alright, so now we're going to mix it up a little bit more. And I'm probably going to go ahead and add another two tablespoons of buttermilk just to thin it out a little bit more. Okay, so now once you add the buttermilk to it, make sure you mix it up really well again. So once you get it all mixed up and you're finally done, go ahead and put it in a mason jar. Once in the mason jar, you can store it in the fridge for about up to a week, give or take a few days. Now this recipe makes one cup and a serving size is typically two tablespoons. So you'll get roughly eight servings from this recipe. Now I know two tablespoons isn't a whole lot for one serving. So if you need to use more, go ahead and use more and next time you can just double or even triple the recipe so you have enough to make what you need it for. Alright, just finish putting the, the last little bit in the jar. Make sure you don't leave any behind. And then just you know, clean up the edges off the, off the lid before you put the lid on. And you, you gotta eat it of course. Make sure the lid's on very tight. Give it a little shake. Shake it some more. And there you go. Don't forget to hit that like button.